Hi, and welcome back to Avocet Math. In this video, we're going to look at a recent example problem from the AMC involving factorable integer equations. And this problem appeared on the 2015 AMC 12A, and it's a good example of a simple and direct application of the factorable integer equation methods we've been working with. So let's take a look at what we have. Integers x and y, with x greater than y, both of which are greater than 0, satisfy x plus y plus xy is equal to 80. What is the value of x? Well, it's a pretty simple problem statement, but uh, it's probably confusing and puzzling to a lot of high school students because we quickly recognize that we have one equation, but two unknowns, x and y. And we know from elementary algebra that one equation and two unknowns is just not enough information to solve uniquely for x or y. And so this kind of creates a roadblock for, for many high school students uh, seeing this problem for the first time. But what we know from our video lectures is that if we try to solve this now in this set of integers x and y, that gives us an additional constraint. It gives us some additional information, which often allows us to reduce the number of possible solutions down to perhaps two or three or often even one possible solution. So let's go ahead and see how we might do that. So we have the equation x, y plus x plus y is equal to 80. And the solution method we've been talking about requires us to look at the coefficients of x and y, in this case 1 and 1, multiply them together and add them to both sides of the equation. And what that does is it now gives us a, a group of terms on the left-hand side which is now factorable. And that's basically the key to uh, solving these types of problems. So let's go ahead and factor this group of terms. We have that factor form being x or y plus 1 times x plus 1, now equaling 81. And the next step in our solution method is to take any number and try to decompose it into its prime factorization form, in this case 3 to the 4th and then to further decompose it into all possible factor pairs. In this case, we have 1 times 81. It could be written as 3 times 27. It could be written as 9 times 9. It could be written as 27 times 3. And lastly, 81 times 1. Now at this point, since we have integer factors on the left side and integer factors on the right side, we know from the fundamental theorem of algebra or arithmetic, excuse me, that these factors have to match up. And so now we can take the information from the problem and try to see how we can match up the factors on the right to the factors on the left. So we know that, given our problem statement, that x is greater than y, and so the factor x plus 1 has to be greater than the factor of y plus 1. And so these factors have to appear uh, in the order of a lesser and a greater factor. And that seems to match up with 1 and 81. It matches up with 3, 27. It does not match up with 9, 9. And it doesn't match up with these last two. So we've reduced the possibilities now to these two, 1 times 81 and 3 times 27. Now we also know from the problem statement that both x and y are greater than 0. So they can be 1 or 2 or 3 or what have you. But in each case, the x plus 1 will have to be 2 or larger, and the y plus 1 will have to be 2 or larger, and neither of those uh, fit with a factor pair of 1 times 81. And so we can eliminate that from consideration as well, and we're left with only one possibility now, that the factor group y plus 1, x plus 1, has to basically match up with 3 times 27. And we know further that since x is greater than y, that the factor of 3 matches up with the factor y plus 1, and the factor 27 matches up with the factor x plus 1. And thus, x plus 1 is equal to 27, and x is equal to 26, leaving us to answer E, 26. So, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. If we try to solve this equation in the set of real numbers, we can't solve for x or y. But if we solve for x or y in the set of integers, subject to this constraint, we can now eliminate this to one possibility and a unique solution for x and y. So, pretty interesting, pretty simple. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Bye.